Hi, Mike here, and we're at Pack Rat Comics in Hillard, Ohio, uh, for the o- Doctor Who Ohio Fest, and I, I am beside myself. Uh, I am here. No, I'm beside yourself. I, yes, we are beside each other. We are. Uh, I am here with Terry Malloy, who is a dashing man. He, I've seen few men cut the swath in a kilt that this man hid. Yeah. Um, Irish. 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 From Cork, County Cork. Yeah. And uh, you might not recognize him because it's not very often us, you know, people in the States get to see this dashing man. No, 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 no. You but, usually see this dashing man. That's right. I am here with Davros. Welcome. The Davros. I'm now, looking for new genetic material. Yes. And it's, that's the great thing about the character is even throughout the entire span of the show, it's always been you. Uh, no. Oh, no. 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 I'm the third actor to play yes. Davros. The very first one was Michael Wisher uh, with Tom Baker. And then um, uh, then there was another actor who took over from him um, with Tom again. And then when it came to Peter Davidson, I took over and I played yep. it with Peter right through to the end of the classic series and through into the Big Finish audience. I think I said that because being here in the States... Um, it's taken me a long time to go back through the old episodes because yeah, yeah. they were impossible to find. So when I say always been, I mean that for me. You have always been my dad. Excellent. Oh, God, Jesus. <laughs> no, I have to ask. The makeup. Yeah. Oh, first of all, terrifying. Yeah. And I, it's just, when you think of someone that's, I don't want to say wheelchair-bound, but when you think of someone in Davros' condition... Terrifying doesn't really always come to mind, but you were just incredible. Now, let me ask, with the make, how long? That that had to have been a process. Uh, well, it was a mask, actually, in my day, um, but it was made to fit my face like a latex glove, really. Uh, so I was about an hour and a half in makeup, which isn't much compared to nowadays when you have uh, prosthetics and everything, mm-hmm. but um, they still had to do my mouth and my teeth and my eyes behind the slits in the, in the mask. Uh, so it'll be an hour and a half, and then about another hour to get into the chariot, as we call it, mm-hmm. um, to wander around in. You know, so it was. Um, it was. Um, you got into character because it was tough. Yeah, I had. How much fun was it in the chariot? Because I can imagine. Was there some uh, early on? Was there somebody pulling you along, or was it always automated? You poor lad, really. This is the BBC we're talking about. No. <laughs> You imagine a supermarket trolley base, which always wants to go that way when you want to go that way. You then build four by two timber all the way around it. You put two lead 12 volt car batteries in the back to run the electrics. You sit in it, you're bolted into it, you're wired up. They've got a hole cut in the middle of the floor and they say, drag it with your toes. So I've got the tr- strongest toes in Europe. No yeah, 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 yeah. That is amazing. No, I mean, the days now of electronics and people whizzing around in a wheelchair, I think, wow, if only. Yeah, because I, one of the, my, my favorite moments with the, is uh, with Peter Capaldi's doctor. Yes. When they're, when he's doing the little bumper car action with yeah. the, the Daleks and. Yeah. Well, he wouldn't be able to. I mean, that's all, I found that odd because there's no way he could do it because it was wired to, it was wired to Davros's brain. Mm-hmm. And it would, it would operate by thought, not by, you know. And if anyone can call out that flaw, it's this man right here. Yeah, too right. So, nor, shenanigans. Nor, yeah, yeah. Nor could Davros actually exist outside the chair. Right. Um, with your experience with all the, doc- the, the different doctors, mm. what was it like for you? You know, you're the same character, and yeah. you're acting opposite the same character, but with different actors. Yeah. What was your reaction to each one? Well, it's the same. I mean, Davros has this relationship with the Doctor. It's, it's interesting. I mean, I find, and I have to say, the whole thing about the Capaldi-Davros episode I thought was brilliant because it's not to do with bangs and whistles and extermination. It's mm-hmm. to do with the psychological game they yes. play with each other. And they kind of need each other. They feed off each other. Mm-hmm. You know, they both, they're both on the same intellectual plane. Mm-hmm. They both know they're alone. And they kind of, they, they really do kind of need each other. Yeah. And um, it's that... Who's going to win the game this week? Mm-hmm. You know, who's going to top the other one? You know, and we've seen a lot of that in the big Finnish audience. You know, yes. Yeah. Well, sir, I see that there's a line starting to form oh, now, yep, yep, and yep. I really sincerely want to say thank my you. Pleasure. You have been. Excuse me, you shook my hand. That means in 24 hours you will turn into a Dalek. The only way out is to eat chocolate. Consummate. Consummate. Thank you so much.